Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift seem to have set their sights on Paris for their upcoming honeymoon. If their affectionate glances, public declarations of love, and PDA are anything to go by. And if that wasn't confirmation enough, Travis himself has finally broken his silence about joining Taylor for her tour in the City of Light. Needless to say, he's struggling to contain his excitement. After all, it's been a long-awaited reunion. Travis appears ecstatic to have finally carved out time to support his girlfriend on May 12th. But before we delve into that, let's explore the enchantment this high-profile couple has woven in Paris, captivating the world's attention. Paris undoubtedly became the latest backdrop for their love saga. While I intended to share highlights from every evening in Paris, let's be real night four stole the spotlight. Why, you ask? Because Taylor Swift decided to embark on a whole new musical journey. Taylor is known for fearlessly reinventing herself, and this time was no different. She kicked off the evening with a bang, seamlessly blending all 11 eras from the start. The opening animation, featuring swirling dark clouds, set the stage for an evening of musical enchantment. As she transitioned between sets, there was a fresh order lover, fearless, red, speak now, reputation. But that wasn't all. Taylor ingeniously merged folklore and Evermore into a single powerful set, labeling them as sister albums. And who could overlook the iconic 1989 era? It made a triumphant comeback. Yet Taylor wasn't finished. She introduced a brand new set dubbed the Tortured Poets Department showcasing acoustic renditions and midnight melodies that didn't quite make it to the main stage. From But Daddy, I Love Him to So High School Taylor took her audience on a captivating journey through seven mesmerizing tracks. With 51 shows lined up across Europe before making her way to North America in the fall, Taylor Swift shows no signs of slowing down. Setless shakeup. Not a concern for Taylor Swift. She thrives on bringing something fresh to every performance, keeping her fans eagerly anticipating more. Yet, her musical genius wasn't the only highlight of this night. Or at least not entirely. The Paris show stole the spotlight because Travis Kelsey was there, immersing himself in the magic alongside Taylor. Ever since it was announced that Travis would grace the Paris show with his presence, anticipation soared. Swifties worldwide urged Parisian fans to capture every moment with Travis. Why? Because when Travis and Taylor share the same space, sparks fly. But Travis wasn't alone in the audience. He was accompanied by Taylor Swift's celebrity besties Gigi Hadid and Bradley Cooper, creating a power trio that exuded sheer coolness. Could it get any better? From their VIP box, they were seen thoroughly enjoying Taylor's electrifying performance. Gigi infectious energy and Bradley undeniable vibe added to the atmosphere. But it was Travis who stole the show with his dance moves, particularly during the song they danced to after the Super Bowl win. And Taylor? Well, she doesn't let love go unnoticed. Adorned in a stunning red and yellow ensemble, she subtly paid homage to Travis' team, the Kansas City Chiefs. But it wasn't just the outfit, it was the little moments that had fans swooning. Taylor, renowned for her subtle gestures, couldn't resist dropping a bombshell. I always perform two different songs during the acoustic section, one on guitar, one on piano, and I switch it up every single night because here on the Eras Tour, we believe every night should be special and unique. Can you believe this is our 87th show on the Eras Tour? She exclaimed, playfully nodding to Travis' jersey number. But there's more. When she sang, cause you know I love the players and you love the game, all eyes were on Travis as she blew him a kiss. Talk about relationship goals. But Taylor Swift's surprises didn't end there. Throughout the night, she sprinkled in several other unexpected songs, each seemingly tailored for Travis. Yet, it wasn't just the lyrics Taylor music spoke volumes. She delivered So High School a track from her latest album that had fans speculating it was inspired by Travis. The crowd went wild and Travis? He seemed mesmerized, as if he couldn't quite believe he was now a part of Taylor world. And then she hit us with the alchemy another new track infused with football vibes that screamed Travis all over it. And who could forget the iconic line, karma is the guy on the Chiefs a moment that has become synonymous with Travis' presence at Taylor shows. It's become expected, yet no less special. But perhaps what's truly remarkable is Taylor Swift's ability to make each show feel like an intimate experience, even in a stadium packed with thousands. And here's the kicker during her performance. She was swag surfing with her backup singers, a move she previously pulled off with Travis' mom at a Chiefs game. It's almost like a direct love letter to Travis and the crowd. 
well, they were eating it up. After the concert, Swift took to social media to express her gratitude for the enthusiastic Parisian audience and her excitement for incorporating her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, into the tour lineup. I'm so fired up to perform this for every crowd on the tour, Swift exclaimed, hinting at the electrifying performances to come. And let's not forget, this marked Travis' fifth time cheering Taylor on from the crowd. Leading up to his trip to Paris, Kelsey had a jam-packed schedule. Earlier in the week, he was spotted filming scenes for Ryan Murphy's latest FX horror series, Grotesquerie. Joining the likes of Niecy Nash Betts, Courtney B., Vance and Leslie Manville, Kelsey is set to make his mark in this upcoming production, which recently commenced filming. Nash Betts even shared several behind-the-scenes videos featuring Kelsey on social media. This follows Kelsey's debut as a host on Saturday Night Live in March 2023 and his cameo appearance alongside Swift on the NBC late-night sketch comedy series last fall. Currently enjoying some downtime from the NFL, Kelsey will soon return to the Kansas City Chiefs for training camp in preparation for the upcoming football season. But hey, even with his busy schedule, he's still making time to support his girl in Paris, dancing the night away like the ultimate cheerleader. Amid Travis, Taylor, and Paris, a love story unfolds, captivating us with every moment. Was night four in Paris the pinnacle of the ERS tour? With its tailored nods to Travis, unexpected musical selections, and Taylor Swift infectious charisma, it undeniably stands out. Travis and Taylor sacrificed much to make it memorable, notably skipping the highly anticipated Met Gala 2024. While their presence would have undoubtedly set the red carpet ablaze, they chose to prioritize the era's tour, ensuring thousands of awaiting fans weren't left disappointed. This decision allowed us to witness another chapter of their captivating celebrity romance. Reports suggest the couple indulged in a serene retreat to Carmel by the Sea, California, following the release of Taylor's expansive double album, The Tortured Poets Department, the anthology last month. Additionally, a heartfelt fan video captured Kelsey eagerly awaiting Swift backstage, culminating in their signature run Jump Kiss celebration, a tradition observed across continents, with Africa and Antarctica yet to be graced. As we eagerly anticipate Taylor Swift's next stop in Sweden, we invite your reflections. What was your standout moment from Paris? Was it Taylor Swift's subtle nods to Travis? Or perhaps Travis' infectious enthusiasm? Share your thoughts below. And if you're curious about Baby Wyatt Kelsey plans with Dad Jason Kelsey to join Aunt Taylor Swift in Paris, stay tuned for our next video.